this is Lola Lee T. Hi, everyone. Welcome to 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days, Season 5, Episode 4, Recap. So Mike is nervous to meet Hamina. She was surprised at how short he was. They seemed super awkward at that first meeting. And I think mostly because of the language barrier. Caleb and Elena had coffee in bed. Caleb admits that he didn't have sex with Elena because he wasn't feeling it. And Elena told him that she was upset because there was no intimacy. Caleb lies to her. And Elena is upset that he didn't even give her some cuddles. But I think that Caleb lied to her because he didn't want to hurt her feelings. But I do like that this couple talks things out. And as we can visibly see, Elena is super attracted to Caleb. Caleb gave her a recycled necklace, but it was really pretty. Caleb likes to hike and he realizes that Elena would like to hike with him if she could. So he bought a backpack that he could just put Helena in the backpack and then he could just hike with her. So she would be like in the back of the backpack. I've actually seen parents carry their little kids in these type of backpacks. And I guess most people would find this offensive, but Elena didn't find it offensive. In fact, she thought it was romantic. Memphis was a little irritated with Hamza because he didn't have a picture of her on his phone, but she had a picture of him on her phone. And there she was in the car trying to fight with him. But this fight wasn't going anywhere because there was an obvious language barrier. Hamza basically confessed in the car that he had lied to her and that they cannot share a bed because of his culture. So Memphis worries because she has had past relationships where there was some intimacy problems and she wants to make sure that her and Hamza are well matched in the intimacy, sexy time department. She wants to do more than video phone sex with Hamza before they actually get married. And she realizes that she only has two weeks to get to know him. Kim tells us that her ankles have been swollen for two days because she traveled across the world 30 hours on a plane. So now here she is in her hotel room, soaking her swollen ankles in ice. Usman has a meeting with his team and he tells them that he did not spend the night with Kim, but that she did get him some gifts, that he got a MacBook Pro and a PS5. He tells them that he does care about Kim. So apparently, Rosa Ree is a big star in Tanzania, just like Usman is a big star in Nigeria. And her manager wanted the two of them to meet. When Kimberly meets up with Usman and his team, she immediately starts holding hands with Usman. His team doesn't like that because they think it's bad for his image. They don't want anybody to take a picture of Usman with an old white woman. <laughs> this team cracks me up. Kim is really pissed that the other woman wants to meet with Usman. And she can actually sense that Usman's management doesn't want her to go along. So Kim is questioning what the heck is going on. Johnny plans to quit his job and come and spend three months in Idaho with Ella. Ella says that she has had a terrible time with men in her life. So what better way to make things go perfectly than to manifest with witchcraft? Being healthy is very important to Johnny and he is average weight. 
He is absolutely terrified of getting sick. And he is on a mission to help his girlfriend, Ella, lose weight. He even consulted a doctor in this episode, and he got some Chinese herbs to help Ella. And he also plans to use diet and exercise to transform her. And when he comes to America, he's looking forward to becoming a redneck cowboy. Like, yeehaw. Johnny's friends clown him about his overweight girlfriend. His friends think that it's going to be a big risk for him to quit his job, get rid of his apartment, leave his family, leave his child, his friends, to go be with Ella. He is also worried about the risk as well, but he realizes He's close to 35 years old, and he really wants a second marriage, and he plans to propose to Ella and accept the very high risk. Jasmine and Gino spend their first night together, and Gino said that she blew him away. Jasmine was pleased with Gino's performance as well, and everything was working good according to her. He did a good job. It was outstanding. He said he didn't even need his little blue pills. He also slept without his cap. Jasmine doesn't want to live in a house that someone else decorated. And she seems to have a real problem with Gino's ex-wife. And she even called this woman that she has not even met stupid. Gino is learning how to manage and handle Jasmine. So he's learned that it's not a good idea to talk about his exes with her, even if she brings it up. Sometimes she gets so mad at him, she will not talk to him for days. And apparently Gino has a secret. He is still friends with one of his exes. And he knows that if Jasmine finds out, she is going to absolutely lose it. So I don't think he's going to be telling her anytime soon. Mike meets Hamina's family for the very first time. It was actually very overwhelming for Mike because he wasn't expecting to meet her entire family. He tries to use a translator app, but the translator has its challenges. Oh my God, I felt so bad for him. All of those eyes on him. Hermana's father says that... He seems like a nice guy, but he doesn't know if he is adequate for his daughter, mostly because of the language barrier and that Mike doesn't speak Spanish. Amina's kids really, really, really like Mike. Her oldest son said that Mike is the best boyfriend his mom has ever had. Wow. Mike realizes that if the relationship doesn't work out, it's really going to affect the kids because they've really taken to him. And oh my goodness, Mike seems like such a nice man. Kayla meets Elena's roommate Elijah for the very first time and tells him that he didn't look like what he thought he would look like, but that he was stunning. In my opinion... Elijah was sitting there in the lobby, just looking all queen-like, all royalty-like. It almost seemed like he was ready to just let Caleb have it. He said that he was trying not to be judgy, but he actually did come off very judgy. He also said his role is to protect Elena In my opinion, this guy is definitely a big brother type to Alina. Elijah asked Caleb, what did you do when you first seen Alina? Did you kiss her? He was actually not very impressed with Caleb's answer because Caleb said that he was basically just too tired. Elijah is not impressed with Caleb. I don't think Caleb is impressed with Elijah. Elijah thinks it's weird that Caleb hasn't kissed Alina or that he's not very affectionate with her. All three of them spent the day together, and it's pretty obvious that Elijah doesn't like Caleb, and he gives him a really hard time. Elijah doesn't like Caleb's behavior towards Elena, and Elijah wants Caleb to treat Elena like a queen. Ella's mom is worried that Johnny 
will not like the ranch life. Johnny says that he likes animals and he's going to try his best. Ella realizes that what Johnny is doing is very risky, but then she worries that he may not think she's worth the sacrifice. She has certainly put all of her eggs in one basket with this Asian prince. Oh my God. I feel so bad for Mike. He was on the plane for hours. He just wanted to have some alone time with his girlfriend. But he is still in the house with like 20 people. I think that maybe she should have just maybe planned it with just her and her kids for the first night. The second night, maybe she could have asked somebody to take her kids so that she could have some alone time with Mike. And then maybe on the third or fourth day, maybe then he could have met her family, her extended family. And I mean, as I'm watching this, it just seems like hours. I mean, I mean, her family have been there for hours. It seems like that to me. And I'm also thinking to myself, can't these people just take a hint? They need to go home. This man is tired and his girlfriend does not have a clue. Mike did plan to spend the night with his girlfriend and he wanted to give her the best pleasure imaginable. But with the kids and all the people in the house, he realizes it's not going to happen. Usman and Kim are waiting for the biggest star in Africa to join them. There is a bit of tension between Usman and Kim. I think Kim's feeling a little jealous. Rose Ree wants to know why Kim is at the meeting. Usman explains that Kim is a fan with potential and that if all goes well, possibly marriage. And this gives Kim hope. Kim explains that at first she felt threatened by Rose Ree. And then basically they just warmed up to each other. But she realizes that Usman's team is possibly trying to sabotage her. Caleb, Elijah, and Elena have a nice dinner together. Caleb is not happy that they have spent the entire day with Elijah. And Caleb wants some alone time with Elena. At dinner, Elijah is annoyed that Caleb is not treating Elena like a queen. He actually points out that Caleb poured water for himself, but he didn't pour any for Elena. But it just looks like to me that Caleb thinks that Elena can do more for herself than Elijah is giving her credit for. Caleb trips up and calls Elena his best friend, not his girlfriend. And Elena has a secret and she is so afraid to tell Caleb because she thinks it might ruin everything. And the secret has to do with her ex-boyfriend. The relationship lasted six months and she has been living with him until recently. Caleb pretty much dismisses Elijah at dinner. Elena and Caleb returns to the hotel room. He picks her up takes her up the stairs, brings her into the room, and kisses her for the first time. And I'm talking about passionate kissing here. Memphis is so annoyed with Hamza that he pretty much tricked her, lied to her by telling her they could be in the same bedroom. Now to find out that they cannot be in the same bedroom because of his culture, Memphis is very nervous to meet his family. She really wants them to accept her and she doesn't want them to judge her because she has kids from two different fathers. But she's presently surprised because Hamza's mother and sister welcome Memphis with open arms. Memphis has a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Hamza and she tells them that if they cannot have sexy time before they're married, that is going to be a problem. Sexual compatibility is very important to her. Hamza tells Memphis, don't worry about it because he's going to sneak into her room to see her and give her some sexy time after everybody goes to sleep. 
But Memphis doesn't want to do that because she feels that doing that would disrespect Hamza's mom. And she doesn't want to disrespect Hamza's mom in her home. But Memphis still disrespects Hamza's mom because the mother caught the two of them in the bedroom together in the morning. Damn. I mean, Hamza, couldn't you set an alarm or something? And of course, we see that Hamza's mom is visibly upset. Okay, so that is the recap, guys. Did you watch the show? What do you guys think of the show? Which couples do you think are going to make it? Which couples do you think are not going to make it? And which are your favorite couples? I would say right now my favorite couple is Hamza and Memphis. I hope they make it, but I really feel like they may not work it because of that cultural barrier. And at first, I thought that maybe Caleb was not attracted to Helena, but now I'm seeing that he possibly is attracted to her. And then with Jasmine and Gino, I don't understand this whole jealousy thing that she has. I mean, she's such a gorgeous girl and she's yet she is still so jealous. I don't get it. I really like Mike and Gino and I hope that their relationships work out with their prospective mates. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys.